Hi all, let's have a look at a few more decisive Leela games. Unfortunately, Leela in the Premier Division of TSEC is just drawing all the games at the moment. Uh, we might have to wait for a stronger network for, for decisive games there. At least she isn't losing though on the bright side. So I thought we'd recap on some Division 2 games we missed out on because I was covering uh, Alpha Zero a couple of weeks back. So actually uh, in Division 2 there were some interesting games on her, how she promoted. One of them against Ziphos. Let's have a look. So E4 from Leela. Ziphos plays the Sicilian defence. And we start with the Sicilian dragon, actually. We go into the dragon. Enter the dragon. One of the first films I got on the VHS cassette recorder. It was a fantastic experience with Bruce Lee. So anyway, enter, entering the dragon here. This is the end of the book. We have F3, very common system. So basically play queen d2 uh, and then usually castle queen side. Try and stop off this sometimes. Sometimes play h4 or g4 is another option as well, as well as h4. So let's see how Ziphos uh, plays the black side and leave the, the white side. So Ziphos castles queen d2 from Leela, knight c6. Now Leela castles queen side. Bishop d7 and now g4. So there are certain options like h4 or even bishop c4, but g4 very interesting. We have knight takes d4, bishop takes d4, queen a5, h4 now, bishop e6. Now, actually, Lila actually plays a3, he doesn't play king b1 just yet. h5, g takes h5. And now uh, queen takes h5. This already looks a little bit scary for black uh, because in this position, if knight takes h5, bishop takes here, for example, knight takes f4, it's already, it looks very dangerous with things like f5 and h5. So say bishop g g4, bishop e2, it still looks dangerous. And in fact, with rook d5, white can even smash through by force. This is why the Sicilian dragon, a lot of players, they, they don't want to play the Sicilian dragon because it's it's very dangerous sometimes. You can just get hacked up if you don't know your stuff. Uh, so it seems here, queen takes h5. This isn't an ideal blockader, really. And it's it seems very logical just to point the bishop at the queen just to play f4. So rook ac8, rook dg1. We have bishop c4 trying to get rid of this bishop but the bishop tucks away on d1 so still f4 rook fd8 king b1 but now black plays very energetically indeed with e5 and now d5 so yeah fireworks uh now why why so energetically uh if black plays say queen h7 i mean it looks ridiculous say say this then there's h5 opening up the h file uh, F4, we have then, for example, this continuation as an example where black's getting smashed. Uh, another example, say bishop e6, f4 hitting the queen. Uh, say these get traded off. F5 is very, very dangerous, this, this kind of scenario, because there's always a sack here. Rook takes g4, and then bishop h6, it's, it's over. Uh, yeah, I mean, these are very, very dangerous scenarios. So this is a very interesting, very interesting reaction tactical. F4. So black is prepared now with knight takes e4, hitting white's queen. Knight takes, d takes, and this represents basically an exchange sacrifice idea by black. Very interesting indeed. So queen takes uh, d8 check is played here. Otherwise, uh, black might have the idea of, of sacking the exchange anyway, with rook takes d1 check, and get rid of, get rid of white's attack. But um, so queen takes d8, bishop takes, and so for the moment it's just an exchange for a pawn after f5. Uh, this keeps the bishop locked in and threatens immediately f6. So black has to parry that. So the exchange up, you might think, well, is this the end of the story or the beginning of the story here? Uh, after king h7, rook h2, rook d7, we have b3, bishop b5, and now very interesting instead of just trying to play the position uh the exchange up in a way this is returning back the favor it's 
it's counter sacrificing the exchange this move rook g5 it's committing to the rook actually being trapped uh, after f6 the rook is actually in a very awkward state here after rook takes h5 king g8 it's it's very difficult to get rid of this to untrap this rook without counter sacking the exchange so we have rook g2 rook f7 uh, now actually uh, basically yeah the a7 pawn is on here as well but uh, rook f7 so giving that it is actually taken bishop e8 so black is looking for this rook yeah bishop e3 rook c7 hitting the rook rook h6 king f8 rook uh, now is is kind of is it going to be a draw because if rook h7 king g8 then and we're just going to get a draw are we well here is the point uh leader counter sacks the exchange knowing that the end game is pretty good actually here so it gets rid of black's bishop pair and you can see that the e4 pawn's weak this is a nice pass pawn uh there's no problem pieces anymore there's a three to one over here this constitutes a winning end game let's have a look rook c3 rook g3 uh king f7 king c1 the rook goes back h5 rook h8 rook h3 rook c8 rook h4 hitting the e4 pawn bishop f8 a4 bishop c5 that's taken and now actually uh rook g4 with the idea of h6 and rook g7 let the king handle this pawn very interesting uh here check driving the king back to the, the back row first now making sure there's no sack with e1 of any use and now the king comes in and now rook g7 here b6 the game was adjudicated as a win uh basically for white well both engines thought it was absolutely winning for white here uh, as an example continuation leader could play rook b7 take here and obviously there's there's loads of past pawns over here uh, this is absolutely trivially winning really uh, so yeah an interesting game from division two i thought we could recap a few of these division two games uh, there are other tournaments coming up which maybe the, the the test 30 network seems to be on self elo going through the roof so hopefully in the next few weeks we'll start to see the new test 30 at work but at the moment it's very very gritty in the premier division of tsec hence this recap of some division two games which i thought we could do for a few days at least okay i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed this game video please click on the top left box which should appear shortly to come member at chessworld.net to play against other youtubers you can also check the youtube analysis in advance from the improved menu learned from the masters uh, the YouTube order button there. Comments, questions, donations, see the description. Like, share, subscribe with the notification bell, especially really appreciated. And also check out the new Teespring store in the description. Thanks very much.